The SSRI antidepressant suicide and violence issue in summary is a colossal failure by the FDA to critically analyze a safety risk. Rather than critically analyze this, the FDA has instead relied on the pharmaceutical company's slant. Um, this includes false evidence. This includes false numbers of suicide events. I've put, we've put together um, this booklet, and it's got the actual documents in it, too, that shows that the evidence was there back in the 80s. Uh, Vera mentioned it earlier that Germany wouldn't even allow approval of Prozac um, unless or unless uh, Lilly put on a suicide warning. That was back in 1984. Um, but without going into all of that, because that is available through this uh, handout, I want to talk again about tomorrow. Let's fast forward. Um, there is a reason that this hearing is happening with very little notice tomorrow, two weeks before the end of the year. Um, tomorrow is a political cover-up by the FDA. Right before facing the consequences of the enormous pressure to overhaul the structure of the FDA, which will begin next year, those guilty parties, the senior officials at FDA, including Thomas Loughran, um, Russell Katz, Bob Temple, these individuals have put together advisory committees, numerous of, of them, almost every day for the next couple of weeks till the end of the year. Um, they know what's coming. Uh, if you take a look at the pressure that's come through from congressional members, the GAO, the IOM report, um, and the countless numbers of critics like these medical experts you guys heard today, and the many consumer and victim advocates that will be speaking uh, tomorrow. You heard from Kim today and, and Eric, but there'll be many speaking tomorrow as well. Um, they would like to rush these advisory committees through before the end of the year so that they can salvage what they have left of their reputation, but also so they can continue, unfortunately, to uh, rubber stamp. Um, I, I'm, let me take that back. It's not even a rubber stamp. Um, the FDA has been acting, unfortunately, for the benefit of the commercial interests of the pharmaceutical companies, not protecting the public health and safety. Tomorrow's issue, the antidepressant and suicide risk, is probably the most egregious example of an FDA failure. Fifteen years ago, they had the opportunity and they had the evidence to do something. Instead, and this is in one of the documents as well, so it's not my words, uh, FDA uh, considered it 15 years ago as not a real issue, but rather a public relations problem. That's the way FDA talked about it with the pharmaceutical companies when they were gathering this information. That's the way they treated it in 1991, and tomorrow is no different. The FDA has presented the advisory committee with two reports from employees inside this already determined to be defective culture of FDA. It's designed not for a critical analysis of all of the evidence that's available. Instead, it's an under-the-radar rubber stamp of FDA's failed analysis 15 years ago. For example, despite it being identified as the IO, in the IOM report as the biggest flaw of FDA structure, it is completely ignoring all of the post-market evidence that's been presented. You've heard reference to the, the case reports and that they call them anecdotal and disregard them. This is all evidence that confirms that there is a very serious risk for suicide and violence induced by the SSRI antidepressants. Uh, Dr. Loughran and the other FDA senior officials who perpetually ignore even their own researchers, we see this continually uh, in the reports, not just with the SSRIs, but in all of the enforcement um, avenues of the FDA. Uh, they know what's coming. This is this restructure, and hopefully next year it will be the beginning of the end of the FDA senior officials protecting the commercial interests again of big pharma at the expense of, of human lives. If they can get this black mark, this S SSRI antidepressant suicide and violence issue done and out of the way before the end of the year, they may save some face, they may salvage somewhat of their reputation, but it will be at the cost of con more lives and continue to har allow these drugs through the suicide and the violence that they induce to harm innocent victims. Thank you very much for your time.